Summer is here, sunshine, good vibes and of course some epic summer fragrances. Here are 14 fantastic summer fragrances for men that will make you smell insanely good and most likely get you a compliment or two. Hi, welcome to Rotten Rubber. I'm going to show you 14 fantastic summer fragrances, but before we get started, please do drop a like on this video. Thank you, I really do appreciate it. And make sure you hit that subscribe. So if you are a subscriber, then you probably know how much I love the first summer fragrance I'm going to show you. I'm actually not sure how many bottles I've been through. I know it's quite a few and I absolutely love it. Champo Gotti Le Beau is an epic mix of freshness and sweetness with coconut. This is bergamot, tonka and coconut in a fresh and sweet blend. When it comes to fragrances with the scent of coconut, this is at the top and I have not found anything with this fantastic mix of freshness sweetness and coconut. Overspray this on a warm summer day and you will not only smell insanely good, you will most likely get a compliment as well. Next up is a modern classic. Now I know some guys absolutely dislike it, but from my wearing experience, it's an extremely mass appealing summer fragrance that's just the perfect thing to add on a warm summer day for the ultimate summer vibe. This is Dolce Gabbana Light Blue Intense and this is basically a soft and smooth kind of citrusy and aquatic freshness with a bit of woodiness and a bit of musk. The musk in here... Ah, the musk gives it a soft and lush kind of feeling and it's just so good. This thing right here is a modern classic for a reason and most people will absolutely love catching a whiff of it and I absolutely love wearing it. Next up is a fresh fragrance some guys love to hate on. I've heard some people call it simple, generic and boring but I humbly disagree. This is Percival and Percival to me is fresh done right and if you're a subscriber which you are right then you know that fresh done right is sexy as hell it's like a sexy mix of freshness woodiness and a bit of sweetness and something musky and i just can't get enough of it first of all it's so good it's one of my fragrances for life i'm gonna link to my fragrances for life video above so please do check it out i i just love it and this thing right here is definitely a crowd pleaser on a warm summer day. So my next summer favorite is a crazy compliment getter and I think it's because of its sweetness and it's a mix of aquatic freshness with a bit of fruity sweetness on top of a very soft musk and something woody. Rasase Hava smells great, has great performance and if you care about compliments then this is the one you most likely get them with. I think Rasase Havas is a great choice for someone who enjoys fresh fragrances that are a bit on the sweet side. So I stayed away from Kenzo for some reason for a long time. I have no idea why, but then I decided to buy Kenzo Om, the Eau de Parfum, and just fell in love with it. Fantastic scent. And shortly after that, I decided to buy Kenzo Om, the Eau de Toilette Intense, and oh, my. This is basically a mix of woodiness, aquatic freshness and a unique touch of fruitiness and sweetness. I really don't have anything else in my collection with this kind of freshness and fruitiness. From my experience of wearing it, it's definitely an attention grabbing kind of scent. Most people are not used to this kind of scent, so it grabs people's attention and most seem to enjoy it, but some guys absolutely dislike this scent. So I do suggest you try it before you buy it. Don't blind buy it. But I'm insanely, absolutely crazy, head over heels addicted to this. So my next summer fragrance is a flank to one of the world's most iconic freshman's fragrances ever made. This is the new Armani Aqua di Gio Parfum. And this sort of follows last year's Eau de Parfum in that it feels like a modern and almost minimalistic version of the original Aqua di Gio. This is basically a mix of aromatic and aquatic freshness and it's extremely smooth. I love its smoothness and this to me is basically classy modern freshness. So I did a first impressions of the new Armani Aqua di Gio Parfum. I'm gonna link to that one above so please do check it out. But I wanted to mention some of the feedback 
I received from some of you guys and that feedback ranges from that the new Parfum is basically like a re-release of Essenza. This has been discontinued for quite some time. Fantastic one. It ranges from this, it ranges to it being like a watered down version of Profumo to it basically being the same as the Eau de Parfum. And I feel it's pretty much almost like a mix of everything. So there's definitely something familiar about the new Parfum but with a touch of something new to it. But regardless of how close or not it is to any of the previous releases, I enjoy it a lot. Its smoothness, its freshness is something I truly enjoy and I really look forward to wearing this this summer. Next up is a clone of Creed's Millesime Imperial and yes, I think it's a good clone. But regardless of how close or not it is to the original, I just like it a lot. Our map, Club de Nuit Milestone is, in a nutshell, an aquatic with a twist. And that twist is it's sort of a salty and fruity side. Our Muff Club Denis Milestone has an aquatic kind of freshness with a bit of citrus and red fruits on top of something musky and woody. This is aquatic fresh with a salty kind of fruitiness to it with a bit of woodiness and a bit of musk. Some people describe this as a salty watermelon kind of scent and yeah, I get a bit of that. This thing is so good and I was actually a bit surprised the first few times I used it because I received so many compliments while wearing it. This is like a freshie with a bit of depth and a very sexy twist to it. Now I believe I paid like 30 or 35 bucks for this bottle so it's not only a fantastic scent it's also quite affordable. So next up is a summer fragrance I would describe as a sort of a luxurious kind of fresh scent. It's clean, it's fresh, it's citrusy and woody, and it's slightly soapy. There's a hint of a very soft fruitiness to it as well. I have honestly no idea what that fruitiness is, but I absolutely love it. I don't think words can explain this scent in any way, but I do feel it's very complex in a fantastic and refined way. The best thing about this scent is how stunning it is and how it makes me smile. The worst thing about it is its price tag. Unfortunately, like most Byredo perfumes, it's quite expensive. This is Byredo Balda Frick and this thing sprayed on on a warm summer day with a drink in your hand, enjoying the sun with your friends. Oh my. Aquari Parma Colonia Essenza is a fresh, clean and soapy fragrance with citrus, white florals, musk and amber. This to me is a classy and elegant kind of freshness with something classy about it yet in a sort of a modern way. I absolutely love wearing this on its own but it's when I layer it with other fresh fragrances that it becomes a crazy compliment getter. So I believe it was last year that I shared that Colonia Essenza is one of my favorite freshes for layering and I highly recommend you to try and layer this with other fresh fragrances. So an example of an extreme compliment getting layering combo is this thing right here and either light blue intense or the original light blue. This is classy and classic with a modern touch and I highly recommend it but make sure you stay away if sort of a soapy fragrance is not your thing because while I don't think this is overly soapy it's definitely soapy. This to me is classy Italian freshness and it's gorgeous. Next up a summer fragrance that sometimes gets a bit of hate. Some people describe the scent of it as that of a sort of a cleaning product and I do understand that and that is not uncommon with this kind of scent. But to me it's extremely luxurious, it's simply stunning but unfortunately it's also very expensive. Every single time I spray on Tom Ford, Neroli Portofino, I get a big dose of citrus, Neroli, 
florals and everything being slightly ambery. Now, some of you guys are probably going to disagree with me on this, but I feel Neroli Portofino is still a unique kind of scent. So many brands have tried to copy Neroli Portofino but I feel that this is still above them all. It's extremely well blended and smells absolutely gorgeous on a warm summer day. So I'm going to go through the last four quite quickly and the first one is Jon Varvatos Artisan Pure and this is pretty much a citrus bomb with citrus and aromatics on top of musk and a bit of woodiness. There's a bit of bitterness to its citrusy side but there's also a hint of sweetness which I feel balances up that sort of a bitterness in a fantastic way. This is super fresh, super bright in a super citrusy way and Jon Varvatos Artisan Pure is the perfect fragrance for someone who loves just that. Next up, Parfums de Mali Galloway. This is a luxurious, unique and insanely addictive powdery fresh scent with a floral touch on a musky base. Its powdery freshness with just the right amount of sweetness and florals is really what makes it so unique and so addictive. This is one that when I start spraying it, I just can't stop. I just want more and more and more and more and more. I absolutely love Galloway and I can highly recommend it for someone who wants a different kind of fresh fragrance. Next up, Voyage de Hermes. This is the Parfum. Now, I don't own a lot of fragrances from Hermes. I'm definitely not an Hermes fanboy. But this is a fragrance I just had to buy. It opens up spicy and citrusy and dries down to this cool blend of freshness, a bit of warmth, woodiness, musk and a touch of florals. This is like a freshy... Come on! With a bit of warmth and complexity to it. If you ever try it out, make sure you wait for the dry down. Extremely classy and very sexy. This is a compliment getter and its scent trail just does something to those who get a whiff of it. Last but not least, now I know, I know, I know, I know I've mentioned it so many times, but I just can't stop using it. I will always, always, always have a bottle of it, and what I do wear it throughout the year, I love wearing it summertime. Overspray this. Oh my, overspray this and you will most definitely charm most people around you. It's fresh, it's aromatic, it's got a fab dose of mint and lavender and a bit of sexy musk. This is Prada Luna Rossa and this thing right here is amazing on a summer day.